Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mid-Level Media channel. I am Ken, and I'm here for the Physical Media Report, episode 139. And I bet you're, I bet you're saying to yourself right now, oh, no, it's another one of those physical media reports where he pre-records himself on StreamYard and it's all it's not it's not fancy it's not edited oh no it's going to be super long and and boring and meandering it'll probably be all of those things but look I'm, I'm here to give you the news I am pre-recording this two days in advance this is actually Saturday night I just got off work and if you're wondering why I'm doing this I, I let everybody know last Monday on the physical media report episode 139 uh, 138, actually. Look, I'm going to stumble. I'm going to mess up. Um, right now, as you're watching this, if all goes well, I will be in the Magic Kingdom at Disney World. I am on vacation. Um, I'm going away for Christmas on vacation. I'm like the McAllisters. Okay. And hopefully we didn't leave a kid at home. Hopefully. Um, again, if all goes well. But anyway, look, I'm, I'm here to deliver the news. There's actually a, a quite a bit. Of, I was afraid I wasn't going to have anything to talk about because I only had five days between this um, and the last episode of Physical Media Report. And I usually have, um, you know, seven days. But I'm filming this on Saturday. I was afraid I wasn't going to have anything to talk about. But damn, did a lot of stuff drop in the past few days. So we've got plenty uh, to get into tonight. But Look, this is your first time joining me here on the Mid-Level Media channel. Usually this physical media report is a lot better structured. Um, it's it's very well edited, if I do say so myself. And, uh, you know, this is all about delivering to you all the news, the, the rumors, the announcements, what's coming out this week, deals, all that good stuff. You know, we, we cover it all here on the physical media report every single Monday. So hit the subscribe button. We also do reviews and unboxing videos and, you know, everything physical media related, Blu-rays, 4Ks, all that kind of stuff. If you like that kind of thing, hit the subscribe button. Also be sure to like this video, guys. Liking the video is very important. As I always say, liking videos is underrated. It's very underrated. And, uh, you know, comments, comment. We're going to talk about a lot of stuff here today. We've got We've got uh, we got boutique announcements. We've got Arrow video announcements. We've got Criterion announcements. We've got imprint announcements. We got freaking leather face chainsaws and 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 4K. We got to talk about. We got Rocky. Hey, yo, Adrian, I did it. Coming out in 4K. Got a lot of stuff. We got a lot. We got some warm bodies. We got some warm bodies. Steel books to talk about. A lot of stuff to talk about, but of everything that we talk about here today, what gets you the most pumped? What gets your juices flowing? And, uh, you know, yeah, that's that's it. What gets you the most pumped and what gets your juices flowing? God, this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be a, a, a crap show. <laughs> this is going to be... A, let's get into it, guys. Look, uh, well, let's talk about this. Uh, this isn't official, but I'm going to show it anyway. Uh, I put it on my Instagram. So this is the Rocky Collection. Uh, supposedly coming this March from Warner Brothers. So this picture showed up on Facebook and I posted it on my Instagram. And this came from Facebook user Jay Paris. And it's on the Facebook group. It's like 4K Collectors United or something. I, it's a Facebook group. I don't really do Facebook, but somebody sent me the link on my Instagram. I checked it out. It looked pretty legit. So, you know, I posted it. But anyway, uh, this is supposed to be coming out in March, but the the interesting thing about this, we already knew Rocky one and two was coming. That had already been announced. Um, that had already been officially announced. We did not know that Rocky three and four were coming to four K as well. We speculated that both of those were coming as well, uh, but we also speculated that five and six would be coming as well, and uh, five and Balboa. And it doesn't look like they are, at least not according to this image right here. So these are supposed to be, you know, slip covers and steel books and the whole thing. You got Rocky, you got Rocky 2, Rocky 3, Rocky 4. And I got to say, like, if these are the color, colors that they're going for the black and white with the red boxing gloves and the American flag on Rocky 4, I kind of like it. Like, the, these slip covers, kind of, a, kind of a home run for me. I like it. Uh, but another interesting thing here to note is that Rocky 4 
is also going to have the Rocky versus Drago cut in it as well, the ultimate director's cut. Uh, so you're going to get Rocky 4 and you're going to get Rocky versus Drago on 4K as well. At least I would assume that you were getting both of those on 4K. I don't think they would do Rocky versus Drago on Blu-ray and Rocky 4 on 4K or vice versa. Um, because Rocky versus Drago, I'm pretty sure, is on streaming on 4K, which I have not watched yet. I was holding it out until the physical media release came out because um, that got rumored a long time ago, and then I was going to watch it then. But very exciting new guys. If, if, if you've been watching the channel for any length of time, I am a massive Rocky fan. It's probably my favorite franchise. Probably my favorite franchise. These are movies that I've grown up with. Um, you know, I, I watched them when I was a kid, and I didn't love them then when I was a kid. But as I've grown older, like I've just when I hit my teenage years, like these movies just really started to resonate with me. Um, and I love them. Like I, I watch them like at least every couple of years. I, I love, I love all of them. You know, and, and to be honest, I'm kind of upset. Because it feels like they're doing Rocky Five a little dirty here. I know it's the, it's, I know it's not the favorite. I know it's the one everybody would say is the worst. I would probably even say it's the worst. I still enjoy it, and it's still a part of the franchise. And I still want it to be put out on 4K alongside one, two, three, and four. And I also want Balboa. I love Balboa. Balboa is top three for me in the franchise. I love that movie. So put Balboa out on 4K as well. What are you guys doing? Um, but yeah, I'm excited guys. This is, this is huge, 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 huge. I will be over the moon to watch these movies in 4k. The Blu-rays are, are fine, but they can definitely look a lot better. And I cannot wait to see what they do with these transfers and Warner brothers hands. Are you kidding me? Like Warner brothers usually does great job, uh, great jobs with their, with their 4k transfers. So really looking forward to it, but let's, uh, let's, uh, Let's go ahead and get into something else. Go ahead and get on Blu-ray.com. I did a little slick transition there. Uh, let's talk about this. This was officially announced. So what I just shown, that was an image, not official image, kind of a rumor. This is officially announced. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 4K is coming from Dark Sky Entertainment or Dark Sky Films. And this is going to be coming out on February the 7th, officially. Uh, this is from the MPI Media Group in association with Dark Sky Films uh, is preparing a 4K Blu-ray release of Toby Hooper's classic horror film, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 1974. Um, this, I'm trying to zoom down and see if there's anything else. in chat. They're just going to the synopsis and all that stuff. Now, for the first time, Dark Sky Films proudly presents its director-approved 4K restoration of The Texas Chainsaw Massacre on 4K Blu-ray bringing all the scares and the screams into terrifying focus and clarity, making for an immersive viewing experience as audience, audiences won't forget. For both new viewers and longtime devotees, this is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre as it has never been seen or heard before. They are really hyping this up. Like I've heard some people say that they're, they're not going to spend this because this is going for like, I believe, $45 right now. I've heard some people say they're not gonna they're not gonna mess with it because they don't think it can look that good, uh, just because of the filmmaking style of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They just don't think it, it it can look that good. I don't know. I feel like they could they could do a lot of stuff with this, and I feel like this is gonna look pretty damn great. At least I'm hoping so. But another thing to note here is that this is the Dark Sky 4K release, right? Well, Second Sight announced a 4K Texas Chainsaw Massacre release like, I don't know, six months ago. We haven't heard anything about that. So this is coming out in February. Obviously, at this point, this is probably going to be coming out before the Second Sight version. But what do you do? Like, do you hold out for the Second Sight version? Because you know Second Sight's going to do... I mean, you would have to assume Second Sight's going to do a better restoration, a better job. Uh, unless they use the same 4K restoration, which is possible. Uh, but Second Sight usually does their own work. But you have to imagine they're going to do a better job restoring this, and they're going to have a nice set, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre from Second Sight. I'm imagining a Dawn of the Dead drive box set, limited edition type deal. Like, that's a that'll be a must-own. So do you wait for that? When could that be? I don't know. Maybe next summer. Um, you know, maybe next fall. It could be all the way till then. Or do you just go ahead and grab Texas Chainsaw Massacre? 
uh, in February. I'm going to grab it in February. I, I will not be able to resist. I have to get it. And I really don't think it's going to be $45 when it comes out. I'm sure that this regular 4K release with a slipcover, because you're going to get a slipcover, you're also going to get a steel book up here uh, that's available to pre-order. Uh, I imagine the regular slipcover, I don't think this will be more than 30, 35. I mean, I, I could be wrong, but it may even go down to like 25. Um, but yeah, you do have this steel book version. Let's see if we can show this off real quick in a little bit. Uh, so this is the steel book. Hey, I'm going to be, it's going to be hard to not double dip <laughs> on this. I'll be triple dipping. Um, I've already got two Texas Chainsaw Massacre steel books, but they're, but they're Blu-rays, obviously. But uh, And Texas Chainsaw Massacre already does have a 4K. Already does have a 4K. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Texas Chainsaw Massacre steel book, which is, you know, just the original poster, but it's still really cool. Let's go ahead and go back. Go back down to this. And this is the regular. I mean, it's hard to beat. You, you got the, you know, the poster right there, but you got this. This slipcover looks awesome. That's some great artwork right there. Um, but let's keep reading on it real quick. Trying to see. Okay. So Texas Chainsaw Massacre arrives in deluxe 4K Blu-ray and 4K Blu-ray Steelbook editions, each containing a bonus disc containing a wealth of supplemental materials. Uh, disc one holds the 4K Blu-ray feature film and four commentary tracks. Writer, producer, director, Toby Hooper, actor, Gunnar Hansen, and cinematographer, Daniel Pearl. Actors, Marilyn Burns, Alan D D Dan Zegger, and Paul A. Parton, who uh, production designer, Robert Burns, Toby Hooper solo, and Daniel Pearl. Um, okay, so you got four audio commentaries. I don't think that those are new. I think they're all from past releases. Um, this too, a Blu-ray contains the new never before seen feature length documentary the legacy of the texas chainsaw massacre and several featurettes these include the cine family the cine family presents freaking hooper conversation about the film between toby hooper and the exorcist director william freaking in texas chainsaw massacre the shocking truth flesh wound seven stories of, of the saw a tour of tcsm house with gunner hansen off the hook with terry uh Mc, mcmim uh, the business of the Chainsaw and production manager Rob Bosman filling out the generous package are deleted scenes and outtakes, a blooper reel, trailers, a blooper reel for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Wow. Uh, vintage TV, radio spots, and much more to thrill fans old and new. Wow. I, I, I hadn't looked into this too much, but new special features for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Like, that's that's insane. Like, I would expect that out of second sight, but... Yeah, um, this is a must own. I mean, this is legitimately a must own. I don't, I don't care if it is forty five dollars. I'll double dip on both of them. This is the, this is the freaking Texas Chainsaw Massacre for crying out loud. You got to. All right, so look, we're done talking about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's coming out February the seventh, and uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you're if you're psyched for the for TCM on four K. Um, okay, did I did I go away? Did I stop? Am I back? Okay. So look, if you're watching this, that's going to be weird, but my computer is very buggy right now. I don't know what's going on. Um, so I might've just been sitting there the whole time, but to me, my computer was glitching out. But anyway, I apologize. I don't have time to go back and reshoot this. I am literally driving to Disney world in eight hours trying to film this as quickly as I can. All right. So let's, um, let's do this. All right, let's get into the Criterion announcements, March releases. Um, so this is interesting. You got uh, Inland Empire, which is a David Lynch film. Uh, new 4K restoration supervised by director David Lynch with 5.1 surround DTS HD master audio. Um, but I don't think that that's a, that's a 4K disc. I believe that that's a 4K restoration on the Blu-ray. I don't think that that's going to be a 4K disc. And that's going to be coming out on March the 21st. But um, let me go into this real quick. Yeah, Digipack Empire. Yeah, Blu-ray. So that's a 4K restoration. It's interesting they didn't do a 4K, though, with that. Like, that's a David Lynch movie, I thought, but they would absolutely 
uh, done a 4K with that. Seems kind of strange that they would not do a 4K with that. Um, let's see. My computer is glitching all over the place on me. I apologize, guys. I really do. Uh, this is going to be the worst episode of the Physical Me Report ever. Uh, last hurrah for chivalry. And uh, I have not heard of that movie. Oh, that's a John Woo movie. That's kind of cool. Uh, that comes out on March the 14th. We got Mildred Pierce, uh, which is a 4K Blu-ray. So that's coming out on 4K. So that already has a Criterion Blu-ray. Now it's going to get a 4K previously restored in 4K HDR presentation of the film. I have not seen Mildred Pierce, but I am interested in checking this one out. I've heard it from a lot of people. It's a great classic movie. And then you got Chilly Scenes of Winter, which we actually talked about that, uh, I believe, last week on the Physical Media Report. Um, because uh, the guy from uh, Griffin Dune uh, talked about that in his on his Instagram. So, um, And then we might get After Hours in 4K later on down the line. Uh, but this is going to be a new 4K restoration of Chilly Scenes of Winter. And... Um, that looks to be, yeah, only fours coming out. So, but I mean, that's an interesting slate. You got Inland Empire, which is a David Lynch film. You got uh, a John Woo movie. You got Mildred Pierce, which is a huge classic film in 4K. And then Chilly Scenes of Winter. Um, so, yeah, that, that's a good slate. That is a good slate. So, all right, let's head out of here for Criterion. And um, let's, let's scroll down the list. Let's scroll down the list. We got uh, Warner Archive announcing. Uh, let's see. I think that's older. Older news. Okay, let's look at this box set right here. Of City of the Living Dead. If I can ever get to it. Okay. I told you guys. Worst episode of the Physical Media Report ever. Uh, let's see. City of the Living Dead limited edition 4K Blu-ray. Uh, okay. So yeah, this looks like a badass set from Cauldron Films. And I have not purchased much from Cauldron Films. In fact, I don't know if I have one Cauldron film. Uh, but they have detailed the upcoming 4K Blu-ray. Blu-ray combo release of Lucio Fulci's cult film City of the Living Dead. Starring Christopher George. Could, uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce all the names. The label has already confirmed that a standard retail edition will be made available later in 2023. I probably need to get on this and pre-order this. Hopefully it hasn't already went out of stock, but this looks like a badass set. I don't own City of the Living Dead, but it is a Lucio Fulci film. I love zombie, and this looks like more zombies from Fulci, so I'm all over this. I need to, yeah, I need to get on this one and order it. Um... But yeah, it looks like an awesome looking set. I'm gonna try to see if I can show this a little bit better. It came out in 1980. Look at that artwork. That is insane. That is insane artwork on that. Yeah, I've heard really great things about that uh, about that movie as well. Really great things. And this is why I don't click on nothing because now I'm stuck again, and I can't move. All right. All right, 4K restoration of the film, W Vision HDR presentation, region free. You got uh, three audio commentaries. Actually, I think you got uh, you got one new audio commentary by critic Sam Dagan, and then you get three archival art commentaries, region free, 4K restoration of the film, region A locked, disc three Blu-ray. Uh, let's see, Blu-ray disc loaded with over five hours of new and archival extras. Damn. Are you kidding me right now? Five hours? Okay, five hours of new and archival. Okay. I was like, five hours of new? Jesus. Okay. Uh, Yeah, this looks like an amazing set. Like, why have I not already ordered this? See, and I clicked on everything. I come down here and it's already down the bottom. <laughs> I always forget about that. But great artwork on that. Yeah, I've not, uh, I haven't seen City of the Living Dead, so I'm, I'm excited for that one. I'll be honest. All right, uh, ooh, you got a new 2K restoration of Stone Cold coming, prep for Blu-ray, and that's coming from Kino. Now let's look at the Arrow video announcements. Because um, this is... I don't know what... Um, I click on this? I don't know about Arrow 
anymore, guys. They're, they're kind of becoming a, a little disappointing. There's some interesting stuff here. There is some interesting stuff here. They got uh, Black Sunday. Black Sunday is pretty interesting. Um, Boyhood, you know, I have that on Blu-ray. I, have not, I haven't even watched the movie yet. I know it's a Richard Linklater film. That feels to me like Criterion does a lot of Linklater. Like, that feels to me like a, a Criterion 4K would be Boyhood. Uh, but again, this is being released overseas in the UK. This is going to be a UK only title. Uh, you will not be able to get this in the US unless you import this. So Boyhood on 4K is the big title from Arrow Video. I guess this really feels like um, not like an Arrow title. Like Boyhood <laughs> just doesn't feel like an Arrow title at all. Um, and I'm not saying that, you know, because it's not horror, obviously like Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves felt like an arrow title. That's not a horror film. Um, but I mean, it's, I don't know. Boyhood's like a multi-decade spanning drama about a boy growing up. It just doesn't feel like an arrow title to me. Um, I don't know, but Black Sunday looks interesting. Uh, film noir classics, volume two, like there's some good stuff here. And I'm sure some people are going to be like, Ken, you're an idiot. This is all great and we love it. And, you know, I'm just a simpleton. I get it. You know, hopefully one day I'll have watched every single movie ever made and I'll appreciate all of this stuff. The house that screened. I mean, that's a looks pretty interesting. It's a horror film. Um, but I'm pretty sure everything except for the film noir classics and boyhood. Those two are UK only. And uh, the house that screamed and, and Black Sunday and knockabouts. Uh, which looks to be a, like another Kung Fu title. That is, uh, that's the new stuff that's coming. Uh, but this film noir classic set has uh, The Suspect, The Sleeping City, Thunder on the Hill, and Six Bridges to Cross. So there you go. All right. And uh, we also got some new imprint releases. One of these days I'm going to mess around and go ahead and grab me an imprint. I still have not gotten one imprint title, but... There is one here that I would like to get, but this is the March imprint. Just comes out with crap like every month. It feels like uh, a lot of a lot of good looking stuff. All titles will be available for purchase on March the 29th. So we got. Um, come on, scroll down. Work for me, computer. All right, so we got Little Buddha. We got how the House of the Spirits. We got I'll Sleep When I'm Dead. That's a movie with Clive Owen. I've not seen that one. Jacob's Ladder. So that's the one I was I was thinking about getting. I've heard some good things about that one. Tim, Tim, um, Tim Robbins. We got Georgia. Jennifer Jason Lee. I'll watch anything with Jennifer Jason Lee. And Return to Paradise. So I actually have Return to Paradise from Mill Creek, I'm pretty sure. I, I do have that in the collection. I think it was a part of a double pack. Okay. So that's the imprint stuff. Let's uh, go back and uh, let's look at the menu. Let's look at the menu, see what there is to order. Uh, but this is the menu. I saw this movie in theaters. It was um, it was interesting, but it's coming out on Blu-ray on January the 17th. And let's talk about why this is interesting. The menu from Fox Searchlight. There's a couple of movies that didn't get Blu-ray releases from Fox Searchlight, and we're still waiting on those. See how they run. And Barbarian. Now, a lot of people said that those movies, you know, Kim, what are you worried about? They'll come out on Blu-ray just because they came out on HBO uh, Max, and they wanted to give them a little time on there before they released them on Blu-ray. I get that, but it, it's been a little time. You know, it's been two months, okay? No sign of those movies coming out on Blu-ray anytime soon. Maybe they'll get announced tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe by the time I do this, so they'll be announced. Who knows? But we have the menu. I'm glad that the menu's getting blue. I'm glad they're not doing uh, the same, same same thing to it that they did with Barbarian. But I still want to know where Barbarian is on Blu-ray. Why do we not have that on Blu-ray? Like that's to me, that's ridiculous. I don't care if you put it on HBO Max or not. Um, and there were reports it was supposed to be out in December. I think that's what people were commenting on the video I made. It'll be out in December, Ken. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're all just blowing things out of proportion. That's what I heard. And December's almost over. It's still not announced. Probably not coming out in December. 
You know, we're getting all the January titles starting to get February now since March. When are we going to get Barbarian on Blu-ray? Damn it. It just makes you, it just kind of makes you nervous that they have the power to do something like that. You know, I know it's just, it's just one movie, you know, and you probably don't even care about it. But if you don't care about the movie, care about what that represents moving forward. Movies not getting Blu-rays? New movies that were released in theaters? That's ridiculous. Anyway, sorry to go out on a ramp. The Menu, good movie. Anya Taylor-Joy, Nicholas Holt, Ralph uh, Ralph Fiennes, Fiennes, however you pronounce it. Um, You get some new special features in this, it looks like. The Open Kitchen, I'll look inside the menu. Uh, Feast on the Ingredients, Fish Course. So yeah, you get some good special features here. Uh, nice little Blu-ray, no slipcover, because again, it's Disney. They don't care about slipcovers. They don't care about releasing stuff on Blu-ray, and they don't care about slipcovers. Look, by the time this comes out, I'll be at Disney. I'll be freaking Disney World for crying out loud. And I'll say it right now, Disney sucks. You know, maybe they'll see this and they'll throw me out of the park. I don't know, but I'm still going to say it. Disney sucks. They don't do slipcovers. They don't put Barbarian out on Blu-ray. You know, screw you, Disney. Screw you. We also got the dogs coming out from Severin. Uh, Little Miss Marker. I don't know what that is. Coming out from Kino Lorber. Is that it? I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Oh, Strange World. Strange World was announced at um, was announced for 4K. I think it was getting a steel book as well. And that's a Disney animated movie that just came out. Let's see. Okay, you're gonna get a Dolby Atmos track on that one. And hold on, that's uh that's the 4K and that's the Blu-ray. Um, you're going to get some special features and all that stuff. People didn't seem to like The Strange World. I feel like that one kind of came and went. Nobody really talked about it that much. Uh, but it'll probably get a Steelbook and a Walmart edition and all that good stuff. All right, Classic Flicks. I, I reviewed one of their 4Ks that, that just came out. Another Mickey Spillane movie is heading to 4K from Classic Flicks. The Long Wait. And that'll be out on March the 21st. So they're going to have another title out on 4K. With any luck, maybe I'll, I'll be able to talk about that with you all. Uh, we got some Eureka March announcements. But uh, let's take a look at this um, Warm Bodies Lionsgate Steelbook. We got a Warm Bodies Lionsgate Steelbook. And this was one that I did know was coming. I actually knew this was coming about a month ago. Um, there's still another one that's coming that I cannot wait to see what they do with the artwork for. Um, hopefully that'll be announced next, but warm bodies. I remember watching this movie. I liked it. This is not, I think this has Nicholas holding it as well. Yeah, it does. Um, I remember liking it, but I don't remember loving it, but I'm, in, I'm interested to rewatch it. I mean, this is an awesome still book. I'll absolutely grab it because the line of the eight still book and it looks freaking awesome. Great looking still book, Warm Bodies. And that's going to be coming out on February the 7th. So Lionsgate's on a roll. I mean, Lionsgate is on a roll and they do not look like they to be slowing down. You know, I got the inside scoop, guys. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to brag, but I just I got the inside scoop. You know, I talked to the guy that's responsible for the art of the Lionsgate Steel Books. How I practically won an Oscar, won them an Oscar. Okay, so yeah, I got the inside scoop, but I'm not going to let everybody know everything, you know, that I know. Okay, we got, we got a, but yeah, warm bodies. Yeah, they're not slowing down. They're ramping up. You know, I've heard some things. We're going to be seeing some cool stuff this year. Bones and all coming out on Blu-ray, Luca Guadagnino film. Um, let's Let's click on this real quick. And I didn't see this movie. Looks pretty, looks pretty weird. Luca Guadagnino made Suspiria, made Call Me By Your Name. He's a great filmmaker. But uh, I don't know about Bones and All. I don't know about it. I'll take a drink real quick while my computer loads for five minutes. All right. Are we still here? Are you, are you guys still with me? I'm probably glitching all over the place. It's the worst. I said it. I, this, I'm gonna say it again. Worst physical media report of all time. 
of all time. Now I've completely glitched out and um, I don't know if you guys can still hear me, um, but I'm waiting for my computer to respond again. Waiting for the computer to respond. Let's see if it will. I think it might. I think it just might. Okay. I think we're back in business. I hope so. Anyway, let's look at the deals. We've come this far, right? Let's look at the deals. Click on the deals. So we do have Game of Thrones on sale all eight seasons for $109.96. Not a bad deal for that. And yeah, this Texas Chainsaw Massacre Steelbook, $44.98. Friends on Blu-ray, all the seasons of Friends on Blu-ray is $39.99. I'm pretty sure I paid that price for one season of Friends on Blu-ray back in the day. So that's well worth it. Um, you know, especially if you don't want to be beholden to a streaming service. The Godfather trilogy is forty nine ninety nine. It was actually ten dollars cheaper a couple of days ago, and that's why I got to be paying attention to my Instagram. Definitely follow me on there. That link is down below in the description uh, because I usually post those deals on there or my community tab on YouTube. Sometimes I post them on there as well. Uh, but you got these steel books. Better off dead is twelve ninety nine. The Warriors is twelve ninety nine. Um, so great prices for those new steel books that came out. Silent Night, Deadly Night, still eleven ninety nine. Uh, trying to see. I thought that the, I guess that's they might have already took it, taken that off. But the um, the Sony Pictures Classics actually went back on sale for one hundred and forty uh, for a couple of days. I think they took it off though. Uh, Jurassic World Collection fifty nine. The thing you got to understand though is I'm going through the deals right now. And this is two days early, so like all these could be gone. So I don't even know why I'm going through these. Uh, but I think the Kino sale is still going on for another couple days as well by the time I put this up. Uh, I think it actually ends today. It actually ends today, I think, on the 19th. Um, so definitely check out the Kino Lorber sale if you haven't yet. Yeah, Topic of Maverick, 4K, $24.99. I do want the Tommy Boy Steelbook. That's $12.99. So yeah, you got some good deals on stuff. Nope is still $17.99. I need to need to order that for sure. But uh, yeah, still got some good deals. Let's go back. Let's look at what's coming out this week, guys. Let's take a look at what's coming out this week. Well, I think that was last week. All right, so let's... Uh, Let's change um, change trajectories. I swear. Blu-ray releases. I don't know why I can't just get there. Okay. I'm here. Are you guys still with me? Is anybody still watching this? Probably not. This is, this is a shit show. I'm sure there's a few. And I'm frozen again. I'm literally frozen again. I'm really curious how this is going to look. Because on my end, it's just showing me gone. This is the disaster. Um, okay. Hopefully, I'm still here, though. I'm going to have to really get my computer looked at soon. Uh, all right. So we got uh what 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 week are we on? December 20th. Okay, War Games. I already saw that in stores. They already put that out. Taking a Felon 123 comes out this week. This is not a great week for stuff. The Banshees of Ine Inarishi comes out on Blu-ray. Tar. Good thing I'm taking vacation this week. Like this is a good week to take it. <laughs> There's not not a lot of stuff coming out. Uh, and War Games and House of Dragon, I already saw in stores last week when I went out to, to do a Blu-ray hunt. Tar, I've heard good things about Tar, but that's coming out in 4K. Surprised the movie like that's getting a 4K. It's kind of interesting. Um, Demon Slayer, more House of the Dragon. You got uh, Secret Headquarters coming out on Blu-ray. Sci-fi movie starring Owen Wilson. Wild Bill. You got Bridget and Remagen. Tar on Blu-ray. Oh my goodness, we got some VeggieTales coming out this week. VeggieTales Jonah, a VeggieTales movie. We got Carol and Tuesday. Got more Tar. Molly Molly Flanders. Yeah, that's a very weak, a weak week 
with the exception of Paradise City, starring John Travolta and Bruce Willis in their epic reteaming from Pulp Fiction. That's amazing. The Hawaiians. Yeah, this is uh, this is sad. Like this is a sad week. Usually, though, traditionally, I feel like the week before December or before Christmas is usually pretty sad. So the fact that we actually have some interesting stuff like war games, taking a film one, two, three, Banshees of Inarishi, House of the Dragon. Like, I guess that's pretty cool that we actually have some stuff like that coming out. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what's coming out this week, guys. And look, I'm going to end this. I'm going to end this while I'm ahead. And I don't think I'm that far ahead. Um, there's some other stuff I could have covered. There's some, you know, more rumors and things, but I'll, I'll let that marinate and we'll come back fresh and strong next week for the physical media report episode 140. So I do apologize for all of my technical issues. If you stuck with me the whole video, I thank you. I appreciate you. And, uh, you know, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on all my social media accounts down below. And let me know what you're the most excited about, guys. Are you excited for Rocky on 4K? Are you excited for Texas Chainsaw Massacre on 4K? Let me know in that comment section below. And, uh, you know, turn on the bell notifications. And uh, and follow me. Follow me somewhere. Twitter. Instagram. You know, I got some videos coming out in the next couple of days. Even though I'm on vacation, I've already pre-uploaded like three or four videos. So I'm good till Friday. You know, check them out. I've got some reviews. We got some recommendation videos. I've got some fun to be had in the world of physical media on this channel. And I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next time.